describe the sevens in one word. Oh, in one word! Amazing. Electric. Mental. Crazy. Exciting. Vibrant. Chaos. Party. Mind blowing. <laughs> Growing up, whenever I thought about Sevens, it was always Hong Kong. The stadium, the fans, the colours, the absolute mad scenes. But unfortunately, I never got to play here. Times have changed. HSBC World Rugby Seven Series this weekend has the men and the women for the very first time. It's going to be epic. There's loads of people to tell you about it. So enough of me. Here they are. My first memories of the Hong Kong Sevens, it's something that a lot of us in New Zealand grew up watching and I think the one that really sticks out for me is maybe 1996, Christian Cullen, Joan Alomu, just an epic New Zealand team and we would all gather around every year to watch but that year in particular, Christian Cullen from under his own goalpost, Joan Alomu steaming up the middle, doesn't get any better for a Kiwi rugby fan. Like, this was the tournament you wanted to play in and there was always this amazing feeling around it and to be here for the first time is so Those special. Goosebumps. Right. The, yeah, I'm jealous, if anything, <laughs> that I've dreamed of playing at this tournament for years. Uh, my first experience was actually working at the Hong Kong Sevens as a face painter. So I'm actually helping out to do face painting there. I have no clue about rugby. I was just enjoying myself there, have some free food and free drinks. And how amazing is it having been here for the qualification tournament to actually know this now is an HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. Yeah, like that's all we've kind of spoke about, isn't it? Like, remember last time we were in Hong Kong and um, being out in that pitch, like we were just chatting, like we'd been out on that Saturday um, with a wee bit taste for that South Stand and I think we are, yeah, buzzing to get out there with that full, a full stand in Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong was just an incredible atmosphere. It's, it's in brilliant to play in uh, you get such a buzz off off the crowd how loud it is i've been going to the hong kong sevens since i was about five uh and my first memories are sat up on the west stand uh just literally all day watching every single minute of every single match yeah i think I'm, I'm pretty biased with one of my favorite moments here even though it is a collective um me scoring against south korea um to get the scoring record, try scoring record is pretty special. Um, being able to share on the pitch as well with you, Tom, is pretty It cool. was all about you, Dan. Uh, it will be my second time playing in the stadium. So last time in 2018 when I ran on, it was, I was blank. Like it was, it was unforgettable, but blank. I think this time it will be more of like uh, a, cheerful mind, a cheerful mind, like happy mind too, because I know my family and friends will be playing and it will be my second time on the pitch. Um, yeah, I think leading the girls out at Hong Kong Sevens will be one of my um, probably most special moments so far as being captain. Um, we've been talking about this tournament for so long and we were so disappointed when COVID um, got it postponed and then now it's finally here and happening. Um, the girls just can't wait. Um, I think a lot of people watch our team play and we play with so much joy and I think that it really suits um, the style of Hong Kong Sevens. Rugby Sevens has grown so much and the women's game has grown so much. To, so to now be here on this stage, the biggest, still probably the most popular, the most iconic Rugby Sevens event for our women is truly remarkable. For someone like me, I grew up watching Christian Cullen and Joan Olomu play at a tournament like this. Now a whole generation of young girls and boys are going to see Michaela Blyde, Madison Levi, Amy Lee Murphy Crow, Riapi Ulunisau showcase all of their skills and their talent that we know that they've got and now everybody else here in Hong Kong and those that have come to the tournament are going to find out about. For the woman running up this weekend for the first time, I think it just shows that the amazing traction the sport's now getting and the growth that the, the sport is showing. Um, for them, they're going to feel, I'm hoping, the, the emotions, the, the noise of the crowd is going to give them that extra buzz. Um, and it just shows how big the, um, the sport's moving and the direction it's moving in. I'm excited for them to get a taste of it. Long time coming. Yeah, absolutely. And the last time we were here, that first day, the Friday, all our games were on the back pitches. They weren't in the stadium. It was only the Saturday from quarterfinals onwards that we got to play in the stadium. But as Tom was saying now, even there's a lot of people out there that are still oh men, like men from these this the X Y and Z better than the women. Whereas if you buy a ticket for the sevens, you, you don't have a choice. You're seeing both, and I know that there'll be people that are are going to see tomorrow how great women's rugby is and how much it's come on, and and after that they, they will be sold. The game has gone from strength to strength. It's it's unbelievable since I've retired, but 
How important is it to have the women finally here on the HSBC World Series in terms of the growth and the opportunity that, that they get to experience? Yeah, look, there's, there's no denying Hong Kong is, is probably one of the biggest sevens tournaments in the world. And to have the women on, uh, you know, on, this, uh, on this bill is just you know, fantastic. They can experience it, they can hear the roar of the crowd, actually understand the pressure of it and, and thrive off it. Uh, it's, it is it's great for the growth of the game and, and for, you know, for Hong Kong to see these players up close and personal. Uh, and they're fantastic, fantastic athletes. Uh, and brilliant people, so yeah, it's an exciting time. From the Invitational team that you got to see some pretty iconic Australian women play, to now, how far has the women's game gone? Um, yeah, since I think it was 2012 when I first watched our girls play at Hong Kong Sevens um, with the likes of Emily Cherry who now is our assistant coach, I think it's just um, amazing to see. Obviously she played and had an amazing career playing rugby but then transitioning into a coaching role um, as one of the only women's coaches on the series as well. I think it just shows how far rugby's come in the last 10 years. Just to see how HSBC and World Rugby have driven the growth of this game over the last decade, honestly, before I even knew what Rugby Sevens was and before it was a series and how the equity between the men and women has always been at the forefront is so compelling and something that's been really inspiring for me as a female athlete. And what I always love is how they're always reaching back out to the grassroots, building up from the youth. I think throughout my career, I was a huge beneficiary of um, all the little steps that HSBC did along the way to, to push that parity and to have combined tournaments. And I remember every time my manager would come with an exciting new first tournament that we get to be a part of with both the men and women at these iconic stadiums, it was so exciting for us as a playing group and stepping onto that pitch and running out for the first time at Cape Town or the first time at the Sydney Sevens or, or Hamilton with, with the men as well. And, and that doesn't just happen out of nowhere. HSBC has been working for such a long time to, to drive that alongside World Rugby and, and understanding the fruits of that is really incredible. So to be here this weekend with HSBC and, and to now see that come into fruition again for the women at, at another opportunity is really incredible and it's only going to grow the game even more because of that aligned combined tournament theme this weekend. I think it's a really big step for the women's game in Hong Kong. So we used to have like players only playing for like a hobby for rugby. We need to introduce rugby in school in Hong Kong, uh, having the part time program, but now having full time athletes to play in Hong Kong against the World Series team. It's actually quite a big step for us and everyone is exciting to able to have a chance to play there. To be honest, I'm quite jealous about that. It's that exposure to seeing like if you if you're a young young lady playing rugby in Hong Kong and there's the end goal of you playing rugby is to hopefully play for Hong Kong in the stadium, having that as a genuine pathway by seeing your players play there it is is gonna make a big difference. And it's so important to see someone who looks like you or dresses like you or that you can envision yourself out there. So for people here, for young girls coming to the tournament this weekend in Hong Kong, just see the women run out on that pitch. You can then set that goal for yourself. You have that dream and people are making it happen. And that is what I'm so stoked about. And for the girls to run off the pitch and to see them taking selfies in the stands and to see them signing autographs and just how far it's come is mind-blowing. I mean, very cool. Uh, I think it's amazing, obviously, having the women here. Um, it's been a long time coming, and it's not just inspiring for young girls watching the sport and females, it's also for guys as well. It just shows that the sport is so inclusive and it brings together so many different um, opportunities to watch the game as well. So I, I think it's massive, and again, I think we're both very excited to seeing not only just the guys and the girls playing, but also just being back in Hong Kong after a, a number of years away. It's massive for the whole growth of rugby in general to be able to see the men and women come alongside each other and play in such an iconic stadium like Hong Kong and to see the competitive le level of both, um, both teams to be able to showcase how talented and athletic and fast and fit and 
furious that they all are and having so much fun at the same time and just loving playing with their best mates and representing their country. And that is only going to do tenfold of things for the next generation of up and coming rugby players or up and coming um, kids that just want to have fun and play sport with their mates and really enjoy the benefits that sport can, can bring to them on and off the field. So it's, um, it's really cool that, that that's, that's, that's happening this weekend.